As Ruta traversed the desolate landscape of Birais, his footsteps echoed through the ruins of what was once a proud and prosperous nation. The aftermath of Gorillist's victory lay before him, a grim tableau of destruction and despair. Ashes smoldered amidst the rubble, and the acrid scent of smoke hung heavy in the air, a poignant reminder of the fierce battle that had raged across the land, the ruler's contemplative gaze swept across the devastated landscape, taking in the haunting remnants of a nation brought to its knees by the relentless advance of guerrillist forces. The once thriving cities lay in ruins, their once grand buildings reduced to little more than crumbling facades. The streets, once bustling with life, now stood eerily silent, their emptiness a stark testament to the toll of war, yet amid the desolation, there lingered a silent sorrow, a profound mourning for all that had been lost. Mass graves dotted the landscape, each one a somber reminder of the countless lives sacrificed in the name of victory. The cost of triumph was etched into the very fabric of Birais, a scar that would endure for generations to come, in Ruta's contemplative mind, contrasting images began to emerge, the exuberance of triumph juxtaposed against the profound sorrow of loss. These two faces of war, each bearing its own weight of consequence, painted a vivid portrait of the conflict that had torn Birais apart. As he approached the presidential palace, the symbolic heart of Birai's former power, Ruta's thoughts turned to the departed General Blura. With a mix of triumph and contemplation, he questioned the sacrifices that had been made in the name of victory. Was the price of triumph worth the devastation that had been wrought upon Birai's? And what of General Blura, hailed as a hero in the annals of guerrillist history? What legacy did he leave behind in the ashes of a defeated nation? In the quiet solitude of the room where General Blura had taken his own life, Ruta found himself grappling with these questions. He pondered the worthiness of such sacrifices, questioning the true nature of heroism in the face of such overwhelming destruction. Was General Blura truly a hero, or merely a pawn in a larger game of power and dominance? As he contemplated these weighty questions, Ruta realized that the true legacy of Birai's defeat would be written not in the annals of history, but in the hearts and minds of those who had witnessed its fall. And though victory had been achieved, it had come at a staggering cost, one that would be felt long after the echoes of war had faded into memory. For Ruta, the scars of war ran deep, their mark etched upon the very soul of Guerrillist. More than half of his army had fallen in the bloody conflict, their sacrifice is a solemn reminder of the brutality of war. And though victory had been achieved, it had come at a heavy price, one that Ruta would carry with him for the rest of his days.